Surf and um, I was just explaining to Simon that it has been a long season for me. I've been racing since January, but um, I love this race. This is for me is a home race. This is my fifth year racing, so unfortunately I'm not in the 10 year, but um, it's the, only, the, the race I've done the most. And um, I just love racing in Bustleton, like I said, because it's a home race for me. So there is no, no excuse for me not to be doing this race and I just can't wait to get out there on Sunday, enjoy it, because I know, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people that are doing it. So there's never a dull moment for me in this race. <laughs> um, I mean, I know there's gonna probably be a little bit of fatigue from a, such a long season, but uh, in Ironman racing, it's not, you know, the speed and the intensity that I'm after. It's more of a strategic um, pacing sort of um, challenge that's ahead of me, the same for everyone. So I think that probably suits me a bit better. And if I can get that right, um, I should have a good day. Um, I still go out there and do my own thing, but I know who I'm up against and what their strengths and weaknesses are, um, because that that's mentally, you know, how I know that if I do this when I swim and bike, then you've got I've got this chance when I'm on the run if I do that. So um, there is the women's field. I feel is wide open. I think that there is a lot of talent out there. Um, Whitney Lyles is an incredible competitor. She has raced a lot, like all of us, um, but you know, a three-hour marathon runner consistently off the bike um, and Rebecca Preston's racing who knows what she's capable of and what form she's in she's been top 10 and you know top five in Kona before but hasn't raced for a while um, you know Rebecca Lisa all these girls all the Aussie girls um, the Kiwis it, yeah I mean I know who's there and what they're capable of but it always just comes down to the day because yeah but, but you have done strategies in place look it's okay if I find myself in the position that I'm able to win on Sunday, I will be enjoying it like no other finishing line to make up for that one. That was my first victory. It will always be extremely special, but I don't remember a thing because um, I was passed out for hours. So um, to have all friends and family in the finishing line saying, oh, but you didn't high five me. You didn't see me. I'm like, I couldn't see anything. I was like black. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there will be, you know, if I do win on the weekend, there will be celebrating for a long time. <laughs> Um, I had a pretty hard year, beginning of the year. Um, things didn't go too well for me in terms of my racing. Um, I was constantly getting sick, um, had a few injuries. Um, so I had to um, have a bit of a break in June and just reflect on everything and make some changes. And since I've done that, um, the second half of my year has progressed really well and this race is actually one of my target races for the year. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how everything's progressed. I jumped on board with a new coach in August. Um, he's really helped me get the nutrition structure for my racing. Um, so I've um, it, it's, it's succeeded in the past three races in terms of my nutrition because um, everybody can swim, bike, and run. Um, just that nutrition is the fourth element, especially in um, Ironman distance. So I'm pretty excited. Um, my training's been going really well. Um, I don't have any doubts in myself in terms of injuries or sicknesses, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to get out there, and um, I love Western Australia, as, as Kate just said, it's like my second home, you know, I just came here in May, and um, yeah, I've been a big support of this, this that part of the, the country, so yeah, I might no, be open up. Great so <laughs> Ironman is a totally different different ball game to, compared to a half, half Ironman. Um, it's, it's about racing smart, it's not about going as hard as you can. Um, and just, you know, backing the training that you've done to progress to this, this race. So that's, that's what I'm, I'm going to believe in and trust in. And, you know, whatever happens on race day, happens on race day. So. Um, yeah, I, I think okay. Um, I, this is one of my favourite races um, on the uh, Australian uh, triathlon circuit. And I, I love coming back every year because of the community support and, and the event. Um, so I'm very pleased to be here. Yeah, recovering stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I just recently resigned my town planning job to be to um, become a full-time professional because it was getting uh, having too much of an impact. Um, and uh, it's, it's definitely been one of the best decisions that I've ever made. And to go from a working pro to, to now putting all my time and energy into this sport solely um, has been um, an incredible experience for me and a very, very positive one and certainly um, feeling a lot more happier in the sport and feeling healthier and, and able to focus um, on my on my goals more so, yeah. Just poor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. Racing for the dough now. Yeah. <laughs>